What's up guys, welcome back to more Twin Mirror. We are on part 3, I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you do, drop a like and smash the subscribe button. So, if I'm not talking as much in this video, it's because I bit my tongue really bad, like yesterday, and it hurts to talk or drink. So, if I'm not talking as much, that's why. And I'm also going to be putting out the end of the order, like tomorrow, I believe. And there's part 16 and part 17 because I did not know there was an epilogue. And I said I wasn't going to add them together into just one video, but I think I'm going to do that, so kind of just bear m with me on that. But let's get into this video. Of course. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Just remember, she's expecting you. She's expecting so the So we're investigating Dennis Don't drop it. right now. All right. I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. Here's someone. Now doesn't seem like the best time to bother her. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? She's pretty good at drawing. Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. Um, any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? I haven't found anything yet. I don't think. Let me know if you find anything. Please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't like school. Well, except for science. Have you seen Dennis today? What? No, I haven't. Were you even listening to me? I shouldn't be surprised. No one listens to me. I was listening. I just need to find Dennis. If you hear anything about what happened to my dad, let me know. Otherwise, just leave me alone. My bad. Joan had no clue about Dennis's whereabouts. Not that I thought she would. So there's two people there. And someone. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. She did not help at all. 
What's this? The history of basswood. This is how basswood got its name if you guys want to read this. Somehow, I don't think the town's recent history will be included. Fine with me. <laughs> Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as yeah, big? Yeah, I'm this town head in here. <laughs> ah, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? Sure. You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Back in his mind. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Buck? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic Tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Interesting. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am going to be an entomologist. I'm going to study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh... Can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this! Wow. No matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh, dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan. Losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and well, far from me to criticize or anything, but um, these last few months, Kathy has been all there, to her. if you know what I mean. Well, hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time. Ah, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. The three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing?
It's been, well, you know cruise control? I've been on cruise control. You might miss it once it's gone. Life rarely lets you coast for long. You look well. I've been better. I'm hungover this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Alright. Sorry about that. Hey, man. Thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh, right. You're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. It's so quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Okay. Are we able to talk to you, sir? No. Alrighty. I believe that's all. Yep. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Cowboy must have lost his keys. Glad to see Joan hasn't changed too much. Christina, always bringing positivity. Good to see someone finally knows how to take care of a plant. It's basic, yet so many people manage to mess it up. Okay. We should be able to head on up. All right, we are back outside. Seems to be someone over here. A statue honoring miners. Pretty meaningless now. Religion's kind of like genetics. If your parents had it, you probably do too. This is new. Domations. Now that's the bass what I remember. Never forget, huh? Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answering. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well, everything has to look its best for today. Especially the minor. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember the pride used to be rednecks. That matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? Two. One to hold the light bulb, the other to rotate the planet. <laughs> not bad. The one I have in store is three. One to replace the light bulb, two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, just not the kind of funny you laugh at. So, you still want to hear the story? I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, 
keep me safer in the trenches than down in the mines. He didn't sit right with our boys. They demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations, being what they are, refused, and sent strike breakers. The mine wars. Miners came out in force, Union men. Met the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. 10,000 strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas round their necks for solidarity. Brotherhood. At least a hundred men died in that battle. Blood spill for what we have now. Wow. So we just got some history about the minor war. It definitely makes for one hell of a story. There's heroes everywhere. Heroes who died for what I have. So I do my part. Feel I owe it to them. I get it. I think you do. Anyway, I get back to it. Gonna give her a real spit shine. You take care now. Interesting. Joe. Sam? You old bridge jump how you been? What's the calendar set? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. I heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? Uh, maybe a little. But don't worry. It's hard for me to blame them. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I can just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. The yeah, cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. So let's continue this way. Yes, uh have been around here somewhere, maybe? A perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Oh. I could never decide if it was my Enterprise or my Millennium Falcon. Maybe Kathy will know Millennium something. Millennium Falcons are better. Or that new pharmacist. That is true. She likes to talk, so... Yo, get out the way.
you move. I'm the one coming in. Fuck you. That's enough. What a punk. Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your uh, condition? I have a condition. Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you. It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. I'm trying to find something doesn't for sound it. Fun. If it doesn't help, it can't hurt. I'm glad someone took over this old drugstore. Can you imagine? This town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. <laughs> I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes. <laughs> Always. Okay, then. Ah, oh, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Honestly, I don't remember last night. You saw me blackout drunk. Not my finest hour. I would say not, after your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the more choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find, in some cases, time is the best medicine. My mom used to say that all the time. Now she only says it a lot. Sounds like a wise woman. Listen to her advice. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask. Why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. No, oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? What do you want from him? I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll think about it. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Okay. Hiking is an activity best done alone on a Sunday afternoon. Alright. Time to 
proceed. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. And they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? You can get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. <laughs> Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. Anna's waiting for me at the coffee shop. Okay, so we can't go that way. Anything down? Nope, nothing down there. Anna's waiting for me at the coffee shop. I was gonna go talk to her. Okay, I can't talk to her. That's fine. I don't imagine Walter had obituaries in mind when he became editor-in-chief. Alright, we're back in the... Coffee shop. Sam! Glad you came. Of course. I said I would. I can still be glad about it. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? I was so wasted at that point, it's all just a big, heavy blur. Yeah. After saying I didn't want to drink, I went home and drank. Long night. Yeah. Sounds about right. We all deal with stress in our own ways. I apparently hit Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on, tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. Uh, 
I'm gonna tell her. I woke up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the Basswood Jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna do my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam. What have you done? Alright, so now we know where Dennis works. Locked. I should check the back. That's what that door was for. My, my, my. Excuse me. Look what we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. But I'm Did glad that we ran into you. Alone. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. After <laughs> all, I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Nice sucker punch. <laughs> Got some bite. Well now, seems you want to beaten. I can oblige. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. Looks like the town bullies all grown up. <coughs> this door is unlocked. Basswood Jungle. Alright, so I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, drop a like and smash that subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.